Hey everyone, welcome back for another Top 5 Wednesday. So Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, so a link to her channel as well as the Goodreads page will be down below for you to check out. This week's topic is our Top 5 Debut Books, and I have some great books here. Um, all five of these I would recommend endlessly, and they're in no particular order. First up, I have Prep School Confidential by Kara Taylor. This is sort of described as a Veronica-esque book where it's a mystery about a girl who gets sent off to boarding school and she has to figure it out. It is super fun. The mystery is exciting. I didn't see the ending coming. It's just so, so much fun. I think this is on Book Outlet for like 99 cents and the next two books are there as well. Definitely check it out. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Next up, we have Angel Fall by Susan E. Of course, everyone knows what this is. Angel Apocalypse with our badass main character, Penryn. I cannot, cannot stress the importance of reading this book because it is so fantastic. Susan E.'s writing is great. There isn't unnecessary love triangles. It's all about Penryn's, you know, sort of fight for survival in a world that is less than ideal. Next up I have Alienated by Melissa Landers and this is a student exchange program with aliens and our main character has to host an alien and she realizes that they're not so different from us and ends up you know forming a friendship with him despite her not wanting to and despite her being very apprehensive about him. It's still a lot of fun. At number two this is probably one of the my highest recommended book books out of this list and that is Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Colley. This is a very dark and disturbing book so if you have any apprehensions about reading things that are um, disturbing um, I would <laughs> warn you away from it but I cannot recommend this book enough. It's about a girl who goes missing and winds up showing up two or three years later with no recollection of what happened and you find out she has multiple personality disorder and that's why she can't remember anything and the book is not so much about who stole her but it's about her fight and trying to regain control of the other personalities and sort of assimilating them into one. Fantastic, oh my god. This was, I think, my second favorite book of 2014, so definitely check it out. And coming in at number one, I have The Jewel by Amy Ewing. And another book that I cannot recommend enough. This is fantastic. It is The Selection Meets um, Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. Fantastic. Oh, I just can't even. Um, there are a few issues with this book that um, are a little jarring. But overall, the story is cohesive in the characters and where the plot is going is really interesting and it says a lot about society, etc. Um, but this is about a world where um, young girls are auctioned off to uh, people who are rich who live in the jewel. And these people who are auctioned off, they have specific powers and that's why they're auctioned off and our main character gets auctioned off to a house and we follow her story as she's trying to just survive. And it's not a surviving story like Angel Fall. It's more of like just a very political survival and very sneaky and just it's fantastic. I cannot wait for the second book. So these are my top five books um, that are debut books. Let me know down below what some of your favorites are. Thanks for watching. Bye.